Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we've got your next installment of connecting with your inner masculine. Yes. So the intention here. Well, OK, first, let me say, keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, I am channeling for the collective, a collective of people right now. So this is a general message. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into uh, the reality of your inner feminine, I'm sorry, inner masculine energies or connecting, wanting to connect with your inner masculine more. You want a personalized message there. Please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, I don't have this reading listed in the list of readings that I offer, but it is still available. OK, so if you would like a look into your personal situation, please go ahead and email me. I'd be very, very happy to do this on a personal level for you. Also, keep in mind that as usual, as everything else on this channel, this reading is timeless. Like I'm not even putting a date on these times. Uh, I'm sorry, on these readings, just a title. OK, because it's really just a matter of whenever it resonates for you. OK, now keep in mind with all of that said that, yes, while this is a general reading and yes, while we are looking at connecting with your inner masculine, you may be able to get a glimpse as to what could be going on with a masculine masculine counterpart in the external, but the intention, okay, the intention for this and other readings of this series is to look at guiding you towards getting more in line, more in touch, more in tune with your inner masculine energies. Yes, this is about your inner reality, okay? Now, of course, you know, it could it could it could show you a little bit or more even of what's going on with a, an external counterpart but that's because of mirroring that happens yes you are all mirrors okay your external counterpart is a mirror to your internal reality your external reality is a direct reflection of your internal reality okay Okay, um, I believe that's it. I guess we should just go ahead and get started here. All right, cool. Hmm. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear guidance as to connecting with and oh okay and even he the healing of our inner masculine energies thank you so much spirit all right guys so before i get started um i want to explain before i started doing these readings today before I got started with the channelings for these readings today I, I did a little bit of a meditative session and I am I have create I have started this visualization process where I see the feminine energies in like a bright pink color and the masculine energies in like a bright blue color like the like a, an, an electric blue electric blue even which I know is pretty cliche and stereotypical but at the same time that's how we've been conditioned to connect with the energies so this isn't about gender oh that's the other thing i wanted to say this isn't about gender all right um this is more about the energy okay so you could be a man and and be more masculine in, in nature you could be a man and be more feminine in nature you could be a woman and be more masculine in nature okay so regardless as to what your gender is we are talking about masculine energies here all right and we all have both masculine and feminine energies within us. Um, but OK, so with that said, I have this visualization process and I see the feminine and the masculine energies in these colors, pink for the feminine, blue for the masculine um, in like the yin yang symbol. OK, and as I was channeling and connecting with the energies, I was seeing the feminine in the pink, bright, shining, vibrant, you know, fully in her power, fully in her authenticity. The masculine, however, was dim. OK, it was there's was a lot of darkness surrounding the masculine, but that's not a bad thing. It's actually a pretty good thing because darkness is the breeding ground of the new. I mean, everything 
that, that comes to existence is born of darkness. So what I was seeing in the masculine's color or energy being a little dim or being shrouded in darkness is the masculine is kind of like in a gestation period of trying to figure out who he truly is on an authentic level who the masculine really is as an individual, not through the eyes of society or any sort of conformity, but who he or she naturally is at the core of their being. Okay, and the black or the dark black color or the dark energy surrounding the masculine is basically giving the masculine that creative potential to figure these things out. And it's so crazy because I had I just finished doing the feminine reading and I was reshuffling and clearing out all my decks and I was shuffling the um the Golden Universal Tarot deck and I was thinking about this and the judgment with the page of wands came out and I was like holy shit that literally is coming to terms with who you truly are because I do see the page of wands as a major I'm sorry minor arcana version of the hermit and the hermit came out multiple times for the feminine all right so with that said let's get into the masculine energies I have a number of decks here I'm going to look at a number of different points I'm going to start with the uh the uh, unicorn tarot and I the first thing I want to look at in terms of your inner masculine energy is what is the current energetic state of your inner masculine yes all right so we're going to give this five shuffles here For your inner masculine, what is the current energetic state? Where is your inner masculine energetically currently? It's two, this is three. Where is your inner masculine energetically at this moment in time? I guess we could say that was three. This is four. For your inner masculine, the current state of your inner masculine energies. And five for the inner masculine where are you right now inner masculine what is your current energetic state how are you feeling what's going on for you how are you showing up here let's see for the inner masculine what is your current energetic state okay for the inner masculine here. Ooh, the emperor okay all right masculine damn well you're showing up right then and there and that's actually the only card that's fallen out that is face up. So that's the biggest thing for right now for the masculine, taking his power back, being in control, being in control of his life, being in control of his identity, or at least working towards this overall energy. You have the three of cups. Well, you're already mirroring the feminine. I don't know if you watched the feminine reading yet. Chances are many of you have already watched that before getting to the masculine, but that's okay. We have a union energy here. We have a celebration. We have uh, the union of body, mind, and spirit, okay? Um, celebration, you're probably, I kind of get the idea that right now you're currently surrounded by a lot of friends uh, or family or your friends or family circle is of great importance to you, yes, but it's it's in focus for you right now. Yes, it's of great importance to you. It's always been of great importance to you, but it's almost as if you're, I feel like you're kind of in a place of kind of re-identifying who these people are around you and what their presence in your life really means for you. Ooh, the sun. Yeah, the nine of wands. The Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And this is the energy that I was picking up on that was speaking to you going through some sort of identification process. Um, trying to figure out who these people around you truly are. Okay? And what that means for you in your life. Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card or is an energy of harvest. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's an energy of harvest. Um, it's an understand. It's an energy of learning through contrast. Okay. It's an under. It's an energy of understanding where you have been up until this point. What are the fruits of your labor? What are the seeds you have sown? What is the bed that you've made that you now need to lay in? I guess. Um, what What are you reaping right now? And do you like that? Is that what you want? Okay, you have a new beginning, a new opportunity 
around you. This could be financial. This could be career. I did hear career. Um, I'm also hearing a new start is in process, okay? You also have the sun, which is good. Very good, okay? Life seems to be pretty bright around you right now. Things are going well. I'm hearing optimism. You also have the nine of wands. Perseverance. It's very interesting. Huh? The cards here have, as I've been speaking about them, they've landed in my, in my single question spread format. So I'm going to read it like that. At the root of your situation currently surrounding you right now, masculine, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new start on the horizon. There is a new start brewing. And that's absolutely why you're going through or you've been through this Seven of Pentacles process. Now, this Three of Cups energy could be you know, people, the people surrounding you, but it's also an energy of a union internally, body, mind, and spirit. Okay. It's like you're, you're working towards this. And so right now, currently around you right now, masculine energies, you're persevering. You're needing to just persevere, just keep going. All right. You're pushing along and it looks like in the future i guess there are some really bright opportunities some of you masculine some of you need to know that whatever it is you're working towards right now especially if, if it's some sort of union with your inner feminine or even a feminine oh the wheel of fortune even a feminine the external um the future is looking quite bright you need to just keep going don't stop keep pushing forward stay in control St well hold on don't go don't run amok with that stay in your power you can really only control your own life so if it's a matter of there are people around you that that are you know kind of trying to take advantage of you or are um siphoning your energy or are trying to manipulate you in, in some way, you're needing to stand in your power and your authority and not allow them to do that, not allow them to control your life. Your life is your own, all right? And that also could be why you have this focus of the Three of Cups, okay? Now, if you're the feminine, or if you're a feminine individual that is watching this, then this could be an influence in your life that you have been feeling perceiving, experiencing, moving through, but not quite aware of where it's coming from, well, it's being influenced by your inner masculine, okay? Which is very interesting because the feminine got that too. The feminine got the hermit, you know, with the two of swords, which is like an energy of kind of like keeping everything at bay, keeping to herself and just trying to process things, trust, just trying to understand some things. So you guys really are kind of mirroring each other here in your current energies, which is pretty awesome. All right, so moving forward, now I'm gonna use the Epic Tarot here, and I wanna look at um, the current challenges that your inner masculine is facing. We have this five shuffles here. What are the current challenges that your inner masculine is facing right now? This is three for the masculine. Current challenge that your inner masculine is facing. Four. You, you, actually, ooh, interesting. You could even see this as the current challenge standing between you and your inner masculine. Okay. And five. Excellent. All right, so let's see. Current challenge that your inner masculine is facing. Well, 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 there's the Ace of Pentacles again. So there is definitely a new start. Ooh, wee, okay. Got the Knight of Cups, then we have the Devil here. Mm hmm There is a new start that the masculine is wanting to move forward with, that your inner masculine is wanting to move forward with also. Let me see here. Let me just make sure nothing else flipped over. Um, and there is... Uh, 
there, there, there is a romantic sense to this because we do. Oh shit! There really is a romantic sense to this. But I was gonna say that because we have, oh, we have the Knight of Cups. Underneath that, though, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. Again, masculine energies. You are mirroring the feminine energies because the Five of Cups came out for the challenge as part of the challenge for the feminines here. Was it? No. No, that was in the current surrounding energies because the feminine was dealing with sorrow, but she was persevering through it. She was pushing through it. Here, masculine, you have this sorrow, this five of cups energy as your challenge. Overall though, the lovers. And okay, but you're mirroring the feminine again because the feminine got the lovers as part of her challenge. Bringing this union together. Ace of pentacles. Okay, this is the opportunity. The challenge here is how do I make this offer? How do I come forward with an offer, says the masculine. It's as if the masculine is aware, your inner masculine or whatnot, is aware that he, he, needs, to, he, or he needs to be the one to make this move, to pursue it. And yet... The pain from the past, I guess, five of cups, the sorrow, the regret, the shame, the remorse, whatnot, whatever, is standing in the way of that. It's not the only thing standing in the way of that. We have the seven of wands, we have the devil, we have the hierophant, and we have the ace of swords. Okay? The hierophant has been coming out a lot lately. It did not come out for the feminine. Um, but it makes sense that it's coming out for the masculine. Because the masculine... It's very much in a conformist energy. Always kind of has been. The, the theme for the masculine has been conformity and control. And a big challenge for the masculine right now is breaking free from that and setting boundaries in terms of it. Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords. Okay. But you have the Hierophant with the, with the Devil. This is codependency. This is being dependent on the system, on the matrix. And I understand the masculine energies are very much fixed, are very much of the earthy, earthly realms of grounded, of material, of status, of all that kind of stuff. But it's become toxic. And the challenge for the masculine right now Part of the challenge is to break free from that, see it clearly for what it truly is, and put boundaries in place. We have two more cards here. The Eight of Wands and the Magician. Communication. The masculine wants to communicate. The masculine wants to extend an offer. The masculine wants to integrate. The masculine wants to come together, the lovers. But how do I do this, says the masculine, when I have this energy staring me in the face? Well, I mean, it's simple, really, in theory. You've got to set the record straight and put some greater boundaries in place. But yeah, that is really quite challenging. It's also almost as if your inner masculine wants to mm, wants to alleviate some of this pain. And I know this is an energy of like, uh, I, I know we're all in these energies of, well, I don't need anyone to alleviate my pain for me. I can do it myself. And technically it is your responsibility to do it yourself, but... There is a sense of chivalry here with this. Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Especially if there has been circumstances in which the masculine has done certain things, has treated, treated you in certain ways, or has acted in certain ways, or has reacted in certain ways that has brought pain. Even if it's just your inner masculine energy, right? Because that is what we're talking about here, that has led has reacted in certain ways that has led you to react in certain ways because this is your inner masculine working through you that has led to some sort of pain regret remorse shame guilt whatever it's like 
masculine the masculine wants to come forward and offer extend some sort of offer in order to help alleviate that pain to make things better the inner masculine is very focused right now on making things better making things right but he still has the energies of conformity with the devil and the hierophant standing right in his path like directly in his path the problem masculine speaking to you now masculine what you would need to do is literally remove your control from that energy. I, I'm sorry, remove, um, remove their control from that energy. Take your power back, the, higher, the, the emperor. But yeah, you do need to take your power back from the hierophant. And that's the emperor energy here is the current surrounding energy for you, masculine or for your inner masculine, okay? Boundaries. Oh no, that's not boundaries, that's the nine of wands. Well, that can be seen as boundaries too. Defenses, perseverance though, okay? But, uh, but ultimately, you need to be in your own sense of power so that you can, well, okay, here are the boundaries though. Setting up the boundaries, seven of wands, being truthful, being honest, being acting from integrity. Okay, that's the challenge that your inner masculine is facing right now. Okay. So now with that said, what would the inner masculine like you to know? What does your inner masculine want to say? Five shuffles here. This is number two. What does your inner masculine want you to know? This is three. Four. What does your inner masculine want you to know? And five. Okay. You know, the Six of Cups caught my attention, or at least what looked like the Six of Cups caught my attention. And um, there's an energy of nostalgia, wanting to get back to that good energy, um, but also an awareness of a deep soul connection here. Okay. But obviously, I mean, obviously, if we're talking inner masculine and inner feminine, there, uh, oh, okay. Um, the message there is that the inner masculine, the, the divine masculine, the collective masculine, whatnot, whatever, is starting to really understand the necessity of the balance between masculine and feminine energy, the lovers, and is being challenged with bringing that balance into existence, into manifestation, just like the feminine. Okay, so what is it that your inner masculine wants you to know right now? What does the inner masculine want to say? What does your inner masculine want to say? The Wheel of Fortune. Times are changing. I just heard I'm coming home, honey. Ooh, the devil. Oh, the star. Overall energy. Strength. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave it right there. That's good enough. Um, so funny. There is like there is there really is. Energetically, there's a lot of mirroring happening between the inner masculine and the inner feminine because for this part, the inner feminine, what the inner feminine wanted to say consisted of five major arcana and one minor arcana. For the masculine here, it's all major arcana. So cool. What the inner masculine wants to say, I am beating the devil and I am coming home. Wish fulfillment, oh God, I wanna cry. Wish fulfillment is coming through. Change is happening, okay? The karmic wheel is turking, turning, the cycles are closing out. I mean, the devil's time is just about up. And we have the devil here twice. We have the devil in the challenge for the masculine, and now we have the devil in what the masculine wants to say. 
what the masculine wants you to know, your inner masculine wants you to know. And the devil showing up here for the, what the inner masculine wants you to know is an acknowledgement, is the inner masculine saying, I am aware of this devil energy. I know who he is and I know what he stands for and I am aware of who in my life around me is creating or perpetuating this devil energy. Three of cups in the overall energy for the surrounding energies of the masculine, of the inner masculine, yes? Or we could look at this as the masculine collective, but okay. But he's, he's saying to you, I am cultivating the strength to face this guy and to put him where he belongs, okay? The Wheel of Fortune here is speaking directly to time. It's also speaking to the closing and completion of a cycle. So with that said, the devil's time here is almost up. That's what the ma inner masculine wants you to know. And I'm coming home, the star. I, I, I'm, I'm coming. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm on my way there. Healing, wish fulfillment, it's all right there. It's coming. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry. I'm, I'm, I'm coming home, he says. I promise you. Ooh. Okay. Well, so with that said, now let's look into action steps that you can take to connect with your inner feminine. What? No, your inner masculine. I am so sorry. I totally just got ridiculously distracted. But actually, why I said that was because I was thinking as I started moving, shifting into this cycle or this part of the situation of the reading, I was thinking of saying that this is actually going to be direct message to the feminine or your inner feminine and steps to take to help connect with your inner masculine from your masculine's point of, from your inner masculine's point of view okay <coughs> excuse me all right we're gonna give this five shuffles and we're gonna see what we get what are the action steps that you can take to further connect with your inner masculine energies That's three. Four. Oops, I hope I counted correctly, but whatever. This is either five or just the last shuffle. <laughs> I so often lose count, but you know what, it's fine. Okay, action steps that you can take to connect with your inner masculine energies or to further connect with your inner masculine energies. And inner masculine, what action steps can we take to further connect with you? 10 of coins. The hanged man. I told you this was going to be a direct message to the feminine. We're gonna stop right there. And I'm saying that because the feminine energies have had this hanged man energy around her for quite a while. And it even came out in the feminine reading. The 10 of pentacles here is saying, be in this for the long haul. Don't give up on me. It's gonna take me some time. This is not easy. Y you know that, feminine. You know how easy this is not. And you have a bit of a head start on me, but that's fine. But you're leading the way. So help me make this change in perspective by changing your perspective. We also have judgment. Woo! With the three of swords. Ah ha ha. The three of swords is at the root, uh, is at the bottom of the deck, is the overall energy here. The inner masculine is saying, I know I've hurt you in the past. I get it. I was wrong and I'm sorry. But that doesn't change anything. I know. I know it doesn't make anything better. It doesn't take the pain away. 
But the pain was for good reason. Judgment with the hanged man. I need you to rise above this and to see the bigger picture in all this. I need you to rise above all this, all of the shit that we've been through, and see the bigger picture. In some cases, it's even see why your inner masculine or the masculine energies in, as a whole have been tormented in these ways and have acted in the ways that they have. And it's right here. It's right here, guys. The devil with the hierophant. The devil with the hierophant. In the, that, 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 that's what's challenging, currently challenging your inner masculine. What your inner masculine wants you to know, he's facing the devil. He's right in my line of sight, says the masculine. I am taking, working on taking my power back from this devil energy. But I need you to help me close out this cycle. Bring this lesson to a close with the Ten of Pentacles. I need you to be in this in the long haul, for the long haul with me, with the Ten of Pentacles. Rise above and see things from a different perspective. Judgment with the hanged man. As a, an individual that resonates with the feminine energy more than the masculine, I'm going to tell you right now, that shit ain't easy. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right now, that's exactly what I've been working on personally in terms of my inner masculine, even in terms of the external masculine. I've been feeling myself move towards a situation in which I'm looking at everything that happened from a different point of view. Whereas in the past, I was stuck in the victim. I'm going to be straight up and honest with you guys. I was stuck in victim mentality. I've been stuck in victim mentality for the last year, and I did not want to admit it. Because no, we're not victims here. Mm. Well, are you sure about that? Now, we're not saying this to get you to be, oh, woe is me. No. But you got to rise above it and you got to look at the bigger picture. You got to look at the circumstances that, the, in, that your inner masculine or just masculine energies in general. Like I know feminine energies have, it, have had it pretty shitty for the last few centuries. For, I don't, I don't know, for the scope of human history that we are consciously aware of at this day and age. Feminine energies have had it pretty shitty because they've been under the control of the masculine. But think about the control that the masculines exert on themselves. The feminines are not just the victims of that here. The masculine is too. I just heard conformity is the key to survival. That's the, the, the illusion that we have been living under. And thus, that's what made it okay for everyone to need to conform and basically be, live in authentic lives. No more. The masculine has had enough of this. It's starting to see the bigger picture. It's starting to become wiser here. And in order to connect with him further, feminine, you have to let go of the pain and rise above it. See it from a different perspective. Help the masculine close out this cycle by doing what you can to, I mean, even look at, oh my God, I just saw this. Look at this. This is the, um, the dreaming, I'm sorry, the, the, the Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. And look at all of the different symbols here. I think this is a planetary symbol. I'm not sure what this is, but this is the symbol of Libra. Okay, this is, a, Libra is the sign of balance. Yes, you may have been hurt. Yes, the masculine, your masculine, your inner masculine energies, whatnot, whatever, may have tormented, tormented you, done things to really rip you to shreds, but you have to work on seeing it from a different perspective if we are ever, ever going to put any of this to rest, okay? Those are the action steps that you can take to connect with your inner masculine.
to further connect with your inner masculine. I feel like I really want to say it that way. All right, kids. So with all that said, now let's close out our reading here with some oracle guidance from the dragons. Ah. Oracle guidance for the masculine, from the masculine, however you want to look at it. This is four. And five. All right, kids. Oracle guidance, please. For the masculine, from the masculine. Oh, damn. Well, there he is right there. There he is right fucking there. Alpha dragon. Harness the divine masculine power of creation. Destroy the old. Visualize your dream. Help to manifest a new world. Well, shit. <laughs> I fucking love it. I fucking love it. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm going to stop being so damn dramatic. And I'm going to read it. Alpha Dragon. You better get it with your ninth dimensional ass. I know that's right. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm being so dramatic. I'm so extra right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, Alpha Dragon. These incredible galactic dragons carry Archangel Metatron's highest light. They helped to create the universe that we live, live in and continue to breathe the yang energy of manifestation into our world. Because they have the power of physical manifestation, they work with our thoughts when we or the collective mind of humanity are ready to bring something into creation. These are enormous and powerful dragons. They only work for the highest good. As they can build, they can also destroy. They are entering our world now at the end of an old era and the start of the new to facilitate the destruction of that which no longer serves our planet and the construction and the construction of a new world at a much higher frequency. I mean, damn. That's literally, that is literally this right here, the current challenge surrounding the inner masculine, your inner masculine, the divine masculine collective is breaking down the establishment, seeing it for what it truly is, bringing truth, wisdom, and authenticity into the picture and placing better boundaries. Ace of wands, I'm sorry, ace of swords, seven of wands, the hierophant and the devil. I mean, y'all, the cards don't lie. The cards have no reason to lie. Huh, fancy that. <laughs> the guidance here. Alpha dragons are beginning, are, I'm sorry, are bringing you a very special message. You are being called to demonstrate creative forces in your current project or experience. So ask these magnificent beings to assist you and know that their masculine energy will empower and strengthen you as you visualize what you want to build. You can also ask these dragons to support you in constructing our new fifth dimensional world. As you hold the vision of the new golden age, they can take your pictures and breathe, breathe life into them or breed life into them. I mean, if we're being honest, we're all adults here, right? I mean, I'm just saying, okay. All right. <laughs> this is a new, this is a card of raw power and creation. So ensure that your intentions are pure. Ah. <sighs> so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like to look into your own personal situation concerning your inner masculine energies, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Again, this is not listed in the list of, of, of readings I, have, I officially offer, but you, if you are interested in it, by all means, hit me up and we will get you set up. Yes, but with that, I love you all so much and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah?
Take care. Mwah. Bye.